Jens, if you look at uh, the China factor, are you confident that China is tackling financial risk or should investors be wary of it? Well, so China is definitely very aware of this issue, and I have to say investors are too. Like, I think this is probably the main question I'm getting from, from investors, really from a long-term perspective. Is it possible that China can, can manage this balance neck? They've had incredible credit growth, and now they're seeing some improvement in these ratios. But the key to, to, to sort of being successful in this balancing act really is that growth stays pretty strong. So that's what we're watching. So the leading indicators that we're paying the most attention to are leading indicators from the trade accounts, actually, because that's some of the most uh, early in the cycle data, and it's still holding up. So there's nothing in the near term that suggests that the economy is about to take a step down, and that's the key to, to making this adjustment process sustainable. Uh, Conrad, Tom and I have been talking quite a lot about the leadership of China and the fact that President Xi now has more power for longer. Does this mean that he will tackle with more force the question of deleveraging? Well, I'm not sure about more force because it, it's something that clearly they've been concerned about for some time, and, and I think with with good reason because it's you know it's not just some of these the the very good data that the BIS puts together on credit to GDP ratios, but it think, it's things like off balance sheet liabilities that I, th I think are are a concern. And and, and when it, if we were to bring this back to the to the U.S., that's this potential tail risk event for for the U.S. Treasury market because I think the Chinese have made it clear that at <coughs> Davos, for example, the the financial regulator that they've learned from Lehman Brothers and they are not going to let uh, a banking crisis develop there and and they're, they're sitting on a massive amount of foreign exchange reserves and I think that that's you know potentially where they'll go if there is a if there is a, a really bad event on the debt side in China.